going to be going over the new battle pass and the new update notes. So, let's see. Alright, so this is the new pack. I've already seen it in the store and I will. I haven't got, I'm not going to get it, but I'm going to test drive it and uh, see what it can do. I want to test out the, uh, I believe this cabin has a healing mechanic, so I want to test that out. And again, sorry about the cars. So, yeah. Alright. So, this new battle pass, it contains parts from the engineers, okay. It has the blueprint for the legendary rocket launcher Walt, which we'll take a look at. The Doppler. The formula wheel. Okay, or Formula U. Alright. And this is literally just a repeat of the announcement for the new Battle Pass, so... I'll be getting the Battle Pass, uh... Pack later. The, uh, I'll be getting the Battle Pass later. I won't be getting the, uh... Stuff in the store. So, this is the new build. I will show that uh, late. I'll probably do another video later when I have uh, the when I have gotten the battle pass on the build for the battle pass, and we'll see how that thing is. Okay. Cool. I do like having these because as I don't get the packs in the store, it means that uh, structural parts, I'm a bit low, I'm lower on structural parts than some players who do get the packs in the store, meaning that a good chunk of the builds in the exhibition I can't download because of that. But the, so the battle passes are currently my only source of structural parts. Always nice to have gold. Interesting. But I'm happy with what I have for my background. Okay. Oh! Those are police sirens. That should be cool. I already have the ambulance sirens from... Or, or ambulance or police sirens from uh, the leaderboard from the previous battle pass, but... These should be cool. Okay. That's interesting. Nice. Okay. So that's just a piece of armor. Um, oh, so this is a bumper. Yep, quite literally a bumper. Okay. So, I will take a look at what the different parts do after going through the battle pass. I'm not sure what these emblems are for yet, but this is the first battle pass that has them. The previous update I noticed uh, added the emblems, but I am still not sure what they are for. Okay, more structural. <coughs> yeah, fudge. Okay, so, another frame. Pistons. A container. Nice. More gold. More structural. Another hot rod hood. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice paint job. I may very well use that. Okay, another one of those. Oh, this is actually a cool background. Okay, more structural. Here's the Doppler blueprint. 
Now, a, a good chunk of these I already saw were in the, uh, were going to be in Battle Pass 11, and I was like, cool. So, uh, in case you haven't seen, I will read out what the, oh, this is cool. I will read out what the Doppler does. Oh. That's a neat decoration. Okay, that's just me. <laughs> okay. I like the I like the the dies for this faction. They aren't as crazy all over the place as some of the others. Not that that's bad, I just don't prefer it. Okay, so here's the new rocket launcher. I'll be taking a look at that later on. Okay. Die for the rocket launcher. Okay. Oh, a different minivan back panel, pretty much. <coughs> Rain. Yep. If you have an R, if you don't already have this, then that'll be useful. I already do. Okay. More die for the waltz. Green. Wand, apparently. Okay. Alright. So. I'll start by going here. And showing you the new items. Now, there was nothing in the machine guns. So, here's the waltz. It requires two crickets and four borers. As well as a ton of uh, microchips and shells, naturally. Hitting an enemy with the full burst of the... Hitting an enemy with a full burst will boost the reloading by 100%. The higher the vehicle speed, the faster the weapons rotate. I'm assuming that means that um, you'll be able to aim better when you are driving, because uh, the faster your vehicle, the faster the weapons will turn. Which, I suppose, is a counter to using this weapon as a camping weapon, depending on how fast the rotation is by default. If it's not a very fast rotation, like the Fat Man cannons or something, then you may, then this one may be better for running around the map than using, like, the, um, like the cricket is sometimes used. Alright. Alright, so next, uh, let me check the leaderboard, because I am not sure which weapon is for the leaderboard. Alright, so yeah, the avalanche is on the leaderboard, as well as whatever this is. Oh. That's just a decoration. That looked like a weird cannon of some kind. Alright. That's a shock absorber. Alrighty then. Yeah, that sounds like something they would say. Alright. So. Back to... So there's nothing in shotguns, or auto cannons, or energy weapons, or mana. Where's the next place? Yeah, cabins. So here's the master. When the perk is activated, the cabin heats up to 100%. After 5 seconds, the cabin begins to cool down to 0% for 3 seconds. During the cooling period, all parts mounted on the cabin, except for wheels, frames, and the cabin itself, recover 4% of durability. It has a 15 second cooldown. So, I'm going to 
to test against some of the AIs in the testing area and see how exactly that works. All right, yeah, next will be the formula wheels. If the armored vehicle is in the air at speeds of at least 47 kilometers an hour, it will accelerate the it will accelerate the effect is amplified for each mounted wheel up to the tenth wheel so i'm not exactly sure what the acceleration part means i'm not exactly sure if you will boost forward when you go into the air or if you will gain a accelerated boost when you land on the ground so i'm interested to find out we can test that with the build once I get the battle pass. Okay, so here's the Doppler. This one's actually pretty cool and could be a, a uh, good counter to stealth. In fact, you could even run it with a, a stealth unit, I think. Because I believe this is a passive module. Yeah, this is a passive module, so you could run it with a stealth module and counter other people in stealth. Reveals parts reveals the parts of enemies using invisibility that are up to 80 uh, meters away. I'm pretty sure that the M stands for meters. The longer the module affects the enemy, the more parts of his armor, Erdkar, are revealed. Damage to invisible enemies is increased by 20%. So, that could actually be really cool. Especially if you're running something with cannons, because then it's just like increased damage to your next uh, to your shot if you hit someone who's invis who's invisible. But it also means because they have to be fairly close to you <clears throat> that it could be a bit of a issue with aiming. So these are the new. Um, vehicles using the new master cabin so doesn't show where that is so I'm going to spawn in some AIs and I'm going to let them shoot me and we shall see how the healing mechanic works I probably should have started shooting them from the start. This isn't quite ideal. Alright. I need to go. Oh, let's see if I can break his cannon. Actually, I probably should take out this guy. Alright. Now, let's test out the heal. Okay, so it doesn't bring back parts that are already broken. I kind of figured with that. But, apparently, everything else that was attached to the cab near the cabin is now, that uh, now has, slight, has been repaired a bit. So let me check something.
so it's just wheels and frames, so that means modules and weapons will be healed as well. Wheels and frames are the only things that won't be repaired. Okay. Well. Interesting, but I'm not exactly sure how powerful that is. It's 4%. So, 4%, I'm assuming it's 4% of whatever health the parts already had. Or durability. Or whatever health whatever dur however much i believe it's four percent of however much durability the parts have by default so i'm honestly not sure how big that is but anyways that was the battle pass why this thing is still here i have no idea i'm going to be doing a video on this build build soon i haven't used it in a while but it's actually really good i found it in the uh in the exhibition and I was like, oh cool, a build I can actually download, and, the and I downloaded it, and the next day it was gone, and I was like, oh, wow, just in time. Well, anyways, that was the, that was my, um, overview of the new Battle Pass, and the, and my rundown of the new, um, items in the Battle Pass, or weapons, mod modules, wheels, and so on. Uh, hope you enjoyed.